Okay, guys. Um, so we're trying to get to the bottom of this uh, overheating issue on the on the race car, um, and so we've removed the cooling system just to examine everything. Um, the radiator looks fine. We've given it a flash. There's not much that's come out of it, and it's relatively new. Uh, water pump is also looking absolutely fine. Um, we are going to be replacing the thermostat. Um, and also the uh, coolant uh, bottle, the expansion bottle, because the coolant level sensing is no longer working uh, due to the internal uh, sensor um, malfunctioning. But what we are seeing on the timing case cover um, over here where the water pump um, uh, is, is installed is massive erosion on the internal surfaces. Um, so you'll see major pitting on the left hand side and then towards the back um, the, the whole um, kind of ceiling surface is really badly eroded away. I have no idea what has caused that. Um, it might be, um, you know, some kind of galvanic corrosion. It doesn't look mechanical. So it's really, really strange. Um, and effectively what that means is that the impeller, which has to, it runs in the back of the cavity here, but it has to seal up against the face inside, needs a, a good seal. And now there's a massive gap uh, through which, um, you know, water can escape. So it's quite possible that the pumping efficiency is, is, is greatly diminished because of, of water uh, basically churning past the impeller between the, uh, the, the low pressure and the high pressure side. Um, replacing the timing case uh, or the front timing cover is uh, a bit of a ball ache, um, because to get it off you've got to get our 420 newton meter um, crank pulley off. Uh, you have to remove valve cover so that you can get to the bolts which uh, bolt in down through the cylinder head and into the um, into the bottom of the um, uh, the front timing cover. Uh, you need to get the sump off and to get the sump off you've got to get the front subframe out. Um, so it's it's a really not a not a quick and easy job. So we're going to give it a little bit of thought to see if we can um, maybe do uh, some kind of epoxy repair. Obviously that's really risky because if that were to come off we now got bits of foreign foreign crap uh, floating around in the system, potentially causing blockages um, or even um, you know, causing the, the um, water pump impeller to get jammed up um, and break up. So we're going to give that a bit of thought um, and see how we proceed. Okay guys, um, so just kept picking up from the last uh, little video, we've detected um, damage to the front timing cover where the water pump is installed. Um, and it transpires it's probably cavitation damage, not terribly common from what we can ascertain. There's not a lot of uh, gen on it, but it's really massively eroded. And what that means is the water pump impeller is spinning around in a, in a, in a space where now there is not nice clearances. In other words, the, the water pressure cannot, cannot be directed in any specific uh, direction. Um, so we had contemplated doing some kind of Heath Robinson repair, uh, cleaning up and maybe doing an epoxy uh, kind of finish. Um, and given that we're the kind of guys who generally would criticize that, <laughs> that kind of shortcut, uh, we've decided we're not going to stoop to that um, and we are going to replace this uh, front timing cover. Fortunately, the front timing cover is only held on by about 8 or 10 bolts um, and it's very easy to remove uh, once you've got the engine out of the car uh, or at least the cylinder head off and the, uh, uh, the sump off. So, um, yeah, it's a ball ache of a job and uh, we're not really looking forward to it. Uh, so we are going to do it with an engine in the car, but it will entail taking off the, uh, the valve cover so that we can get to the bolts which go through the head and into the top of the timing cover. It will entail um, removing the, uh, the Jesus bolt on the front crank pulley, that 420 odd newton meter jobby, uh, and it will entail getting the sump off. We are going to try and see whether there's any chance that we can just loosen the sump and drop it slightly onto the subframe uh, to enable we, us to just re um, remove the clamping force between the head and the sump, which is locking this uh, timing cover in place. Um, but apparently it's not possible. Apparently we do have to get the sump off. To get the sump off, the subframe has to come off. Uh, for the subframe to come off, we've got to suspend the engine. So it really is a hell of a job for, for effectively a uh, you know, pretty, pretty minor component. We have had this uh, timing cover off as it happens when we did the upgrades to the oil pump. Um, so I guess if, if nothing else, at least we'll get to see whether or not that bolt has moved and whether everything is still looking nice and, and dandy um, underneath inside with the, with the oil pump assembly. So yeah, we're going to get the, the car lifted right now and have a look and see uh, what our action plan is and start getting this thing torn down.